to kick you out there and get another one of these sevens because now it's like a little bit more symmetric. <laughs> that's the reason why that's you're the doing reason. it. Yes, yes, that's the only reason. <laughs> and I'm gonna get up here to kick your butt in like let's say like four <laughs> to five years. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Atakos, and today I'm bringing you my playthrough of Mountain Goats, a really cool, fun and quick family game that I can definitely recommend. Um, but it does not have a solo mode, so I can't play it by myself. So I brought my best friend Alice with me again, who will support me today. Hello everyone! Hi! Great to be here! Hello everyone! <laughs> Great to have you here! <laughs> Alright, so um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, we will just quickly set up the game and then we will tell you how to play it. Let's do it! Alright, and that, uh, if you haven't forgotten anything, that is pretty much the setup of the two player game. So in a two and in a three player game, you remove a few of these chips. In a two player game, you remove two of each number up there. And in a three player game, I think only one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then you just put like all the, uh, the mountain tops, which are, is in, which are indicated by the black uh, circle black circuit numbers and the other numbers like the same ones below them and the goats here these to the left and then all, also what you need is these four dice and then we can actually start playing so um, do you want to go first or do you want me to go um, I go first all right perfect okay. we will just explain the game as we go because it's just that simple so whenever it's the player's turn the player um, just rolls all four dice just like just like A-list demonstrated perfectly. And then you group together these dice. So um, you group them together to form like numbers. For example, if she grouped it like this, you would have a five and a 10. But you could also like switch these around and for example, have a nine and a six. That's possible. You can also like have big and large numbers like Oh, uh, it wouldn't make any sense now, but you can also... You could do this. You, you could do this, right. So you could, for example, have that 9 and also a 6. That is possible, right? If you ever have like a group, that one doesn't make sense now, but let's say it would, and you have like a number that is lower than 5 or higher than 10, then there are no goats that could actually move, so that die would just be lost. All right, now you can uh, <laughs> go back to the starting configuration. I definitely have a 10 and a 5. So and what she does now is now she goes through all numbers that she has created in, with her groups. So 10 is first, for example, and she takes her gray goat. I have the pure white goat. <laughs> like the dirty gray goat. <laughs> this is definitely not white. No. <laughs> and the five. So she can also um, like move up the five mountain. All right. And that is how the game pretty much works. Um, whenever you reach the top with one of your goats, then you can take one of these point markers. Of course, the 10 um, gives more points because it's a 10 on there, right? We just count together, count up all the numbers that we have on our uh, tokens at the end of the game. Um, and um, But if she is at the top already and she has another 10, then she can't move up further, but the goat will just move around there and have fun up there at the top all by um, itself. And then she can just take another token, right? As if she would move up. If I ever move up to the top, then I can actually kick her down the mountain. That is never going to happen. I'm no. sorry. Well, we'll see about that. Um, the game ends if three of these mountains don't have any tokens left anymore, or if all of these tokens are gone. Um, I will get, get to those in just a minute. But let me first roll. Oh. So this is a good example. So I could now have a 10 here because 10 is a good mountain to move up, right? But then that four would be lost and four is quite a large number. So I don't really want to lose that. So I think what I will do, I will actually group like, have like two of the seven so I can actually like move up two here. That's not too bad. So one more seven, I'm actually at the top already. All right. I'm a goat getter, so <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, well, I think I know what I'm gonna do. That's exactly the same thing that you yeah, that, had before. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Yay! <laughs> so the goat actually made it all the way to the mountaintop of the 10. So, um, Aedas can now so take one of these mine. 10 tokens, right? Uh, if you want to, you can just maybe put them yeah, here. Put my points here. So the viewers can actually see how many points we have. I think that makes sense. I will just put mine here in the bottom left. Okay, so uh, yeah, well, it's my turn now. Uh, 
three, six, ten. Not too bad. But then the two would be the last. Let's do another seven and a five, right? So I can also move up the five here. I don't really want to move in front of her probably because if I do, then it might not take long for her to kick me off. So I will just I will just stay behind her, be ready to kick her off. And with the seven, I can actually move up here because she needs a while to get there. And I will take my first seven points here. I'm gonna getcha. Oh, <laughs> not like that, <laughs> probably. Well, it's not too bad. You could group uh, like three together five, for yeah. 10. Then you would move, uh, then you would five lose. And six. Or five and six. Yeah, that's another possibility. Yeah, sure. I think I'm gonna go with five and six. Okay. Yay! Come on, Gaudi, jump! <laughs> <laughs> so, what she could have done now, she could have also, like, grouped these two together for a ten, then you would lose that one because the one is pretty useless, but she would get, like, another ten points because she already is at the top, right? So, just to explain that. 10 Ooh. and 5. Well, I could actually start moving up the 10. That's not too bad. So I will do a 10 and a 5 because I want to stay right behind her here. <laughs> just out of reach. And then, so I can just swoop in at the end and just kick her down. Because it will take a while for her to get back up again because the 5, of course, takes a little bit longer. Get used to the view of my back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have to. Ooh, Ooh. let's see. Well, maybe I do. Bum, 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 bum. I I think I'm gonna get me another 10 and a 7. Meh! Yay! <laughs> and here we go! <laughs> so I'm gonna take this. I don't like that too much, but that's the way it is. Okay, so, oh! Oh, that's... you go, goat! <laughs> 5, 7, 8, well, you know what I will do? I will just put group these together for a 7. I'll just, uh, um, don't re um, note the one, and then I will just take another one here because, well, the girl's already playing up there and having fun, so that works. Okay. Um, bum, bum. Let me see. That is a six and a seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with those. So I'm gonna take the six and the seven. Seven. Okay. Nice. Okay. So um, let me now go um, also mention these tiles here. As I said, the game ends either either if three mountains don't have any tones left anymore or if these are all gone. So um, now you might think, well, you only can only you just stay at the 10 and try to just group together 10s. That's fine. But if you actually are able to like spread and actually get like one token of each, like one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 respectively, then you can take like the top token here, which actually grants you 15 points, which is quite a lot. If you manage to do it another time, like have another set of each token, then you can take the next number here. So whenever these four are gone, the game ends as well. Well, that's a 10. That is just a 10. So goodbye. Mm. It was nice for you, but now it's my turn to take one of those my goat is not happy with that. But mine is, and at least one of them is happy. <laughs> Ooh, boo, 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 boo. So now you might think it's 12. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Not in this game. <laughs> oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. Oh, that is pretty good, actually. Yeah, I have two sixes and a seven. So yeah. go jump, goaty. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> And the seven also. Oh, there you go. Go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a pretty good move, actually. Oh, man. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, but I will stay with the ten. Oops, that was a five. Ten and oh. six is okay, I suppose. Well, so, of course, I could take the two fives and go right to the top of the mountain and get that five. But I will not do that because then she's going to kick me out. And I will just want to... I just want to... Uh, want her to be ahead a little bit more, so I will take another 10. So the first mountain is almost, there's almost no token left anymore. And the six, well, I can just start moving up there. So if like the mountain doesn't have a token anymore, well, then it's just a mountain you can, it doesn't make sense to use anymore, right? <gasps> Ooh, oh my God, this is good. This is pretty good, yeah. Uh, give me a minute. Yeah, depends on what you want to do with that. Yeah, let me think. And that usually takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the Jeopardy, Jeopardy uh, theme. <laughs> um, six, 
666. Mm, I think there's not that much that I can do with that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go with one. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with the 10 and the two sixes. So I'm gonna take two jumps. Yeah, that's pretty amazing, yeah. These, okay. I'm gonna pile them up here. Okay. And it's your turn. Mm -hmm. mm, eight, 10 and six. That would actually be okay. So let's do, let's just empty now. No, wait. I did I see a 10? Yeah, 10 here. Five, seven, ten. Yeah, right. So I can actually take the last token here. Mm. And then with the six, I will just slowly but surely climb up that one. I know what my strategy is. <laughs> All right. What is your strategy? Let me see. Um, we haven't even started climbing up that one. Yeah, that's what I thought <laughs> because I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take <clears> the eight and the seven. Yeah, you go, Goaty! Yay! What was the other one? Seven. <laughs> seven. seven. Yeah, yay! And you can take another one there. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Oh. oh. Well, the 10 doesn't help me anymore at all. But what I can do is take just the three, three sixes, the four, whatever, because I can't combine the four with anything anyway. It's lost oh. anyway. So I would take two sixes. Kick her down, get one token, and I have one more six, so I can take another one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, um, well. Yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with the eight and the five, and I'm gonna get five points here. Mm hmm. And the A. Go jump! Yay! I'm in animal sound mode today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just figured. <laughs> so five isn't too bad. Six. Oh, yes. That is not too bad. So I will get ready to kick you out there, hopefully soon, and then get two more mm. of these. Nice. Okay. Oops. I really like the, the design of these cards here. Looks pretty colorful. Looks great in video as well. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stay on top here and take a seven and two of these. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's your turn. Good. So let's see. Six, six, which is not too bad, and seven. Yeah, that's something we could do. Sure. Because the ten doesn't work anymore. Uh, so let's do these two sixes first. So I take the last two mm. tokens here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just put them here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, and then I will just start climbing up here. So like two of the mounts don't have any tokens anymore. We haven't really, we haven't managed to do that yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. Because eight, we haven't even started climbing up the nine. The eight is not far either. So that's interesting. That's an interesting way to play but the I game. I think I'm gonna start doing that. So I'm gonna go with five and nine here. Hmm, that's not too bad. Here. Okay. Like this. Six, eight, 11, 12. Okay, sure. Seven, five. Yeah, that's a good idea. So five, I will actually no. kick you back down the mountain and with the seven, I will slowly creep up here. Oh, <laughs> wait, and I get one of these. Okay, so we're getting there. Slowly but oh, surely. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm gonna do the eight here and the seven. No, oh, not bad. That's good, yeah. Yeah. 
So you just need a nine, and then you can actually take the first token yeah. there. That's the plan. Four, six, seven, eight. Uh, no, not eight. I will actually combine these three here and go up there mm. to kick you out there and get another one of these sevens because now it's like a little bit more symmetric. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why That's you're the doing reason. it. Yes, yes. That's the only reason. <laughs> So let me see if I can get a nine here because that's what I'm gonna do. You could also take the ten. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not with this goatee. You go, girl. Okay, I'm Now you have one of each, now. right? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she has one of each token. So now she can take the top um, token. This is mine. There. Yeah. These uh, these are called like the bonus tokens, I think, something like that. Bonus, bonus point tokens, I think. Okay, it's my turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, the 10 doesn't help me. Two eights? Would that make sense? I mean, the game is almost over, right? Maybe, can I end the game? No, I can't. I don't have a seven. Then I can just end the game, but I can't do that. Six. Oh, oh six doesn't do anything. Ten doesn't do anything. Then I have to do eights. That's all I can do. Yeah, so you see, that's pretty. That's a pretty interesting uh, mechanism here because, like, your choices get limited. Like, the further you progress in the game, right? Because six and tens don't help me anymore. So, well, I can just do two eights. That's all I can do, right? Yeah, six doesn't work. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's very much a, like a lost turn for me, right? Well, maybe it depends on what I can do now. I have a question. Yes. Um. When at, at which point can I technically get this? Again. If you have another set of each of the tokens. So we would have to memorize? No, you can see it here. Like If you have two of each, then mm -hmm. you can take the next token. Ah, uh, two. So you need another eight and another uh, nine. Okay, okay, right? okay, okay. Because you have... Oh, that's good then. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with the seven then. <laughs> yes. But also with all with the five, but the five takes a while until you get up there, yeah. so that probably makes the most sense. Uh, five. So that is the question now, because you are closer. Yeah, you are closer to getting another one of these tokens. I will take a while. So what I will do probably is just end the game. But I think that you win then. Yeah, I have. I think I have no chance to win anymore. I could also like. Well, I could. No, actually, no. I would do it differently. No, no. I would actually do an eight, do an eight here, and actually kick you down here because then you will need a while to get there, and I'm actually at the top. That's a good idea. Maybe I can take another bonus point because I could have um, just uh, rearranged it like that. I have like a seven here, right? And then I could have taken that token, and then the game would be over. But I know that I would have lost it, so I will try it like this. Okay. Okay. Game on. I know what I want. Which is another nine, definitely, and the five. So I'm gonna take one here, and I'm gonna get up here to kick your butt. In like, let's say like four <laughs> to five years. <laughs> oh, that is a nine and an eight. Oh yes. So I'm gonna go up here oh, and no. get another one of these tokens. Okay, now it's gonna become interesting again. Because she cannot end the game, like force me to end the game. She needs to get up here to do so. Yeah. That's interesting. Come on, now. help me. Okay. What do I need? I need... Mm. But I'm going to do that. Because I'm going to go up here and leave the rest. Yeah. Okay. I want to... Get yeah, I wasn't there. quite sure whether you would get another token or try to get me down there. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. I'm trying to get you down. That's a nine. That's a nine. Oh, nice. And that means I have one of each, which wow. means I will... Oh, now, now it's actually really exciting again. I thought I lost, but... So that means for me to get I might the next win. bonus. <laughs> I'm all about this bonus. I want this bonus. <laughs> <laughs> what do I need to do? Well, you'll have to try hard to get it. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for those. 
<laughs> motivational words. I know, yeah, I'm a really mora morale booster. <laughs> Uh, well, you you need another eight, so you need to get up here and kick me down. So it's it's still t two of those. Two uh, two of each because oh, yeah, like like for each like for each set you have, you can take a token, right? You have okay. one set, you took one token. Okay. Now you need a second so set still, to take another still, token. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not three because it's the third yeah. one. Um, right. So you need an eight. I'm gonna get there. My goaties, they are on fire. I think. Not yet, but they will be at some point, maybe. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, he's not going to help us today. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> not in this game. Let me just um, put them up a little bit. Let me see. I could go for another nine. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Seven. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll move up here. Because he might also just want to force me to, I like force to end the game. Because you could still... I don't, no, well, I don't, I'm not sure anymore. It's very close, I think. It, I yeah. think it's much closer than we think. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to give up. Let's see. So I would now need another 9 and a 5. <gasps> Ooh, that's all I need. Oh my god, all of your goats are up here. What I know, that? all of my goats. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> This is an an army of goats here that I'm facing. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. I didn't even realize. So it doesn't matter what I roll, I get stuff except for a six. Well, I, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, congratulations <laughs> to you. It's my turn, right? Is it? <laughs> I really I forgot. But I have it in my hand, it, yeah, so I, I guess yeah. yeah. Would make sense otherwise. That's a five, seven. What do I need? I need I need a nine. What? You could end oh, the game oh, no. with the seven. Oh no, no, I messed everything up. I th well, I, I, I could have done a nine, I think, yeah, and the rest would be lost, so I would do that. Yeah, I could have done either a nine or a seven or a five. Mm. Sorry, I messed it up, but yeah. Yay! <laughs> I'm the king of the world! <laughs> or the king of the hill, so to speak. The king of goats. Okay, just a five, and then I get the next bonus token. Okay. Ooh, this is exciting! <laughs> Oh, well, that's a seven, right? It's I a could... seven or a nine. You could end the game, but I don't know if it's enough for you to win. That's the thing. I don't know. I think it is. You know what? I think I'm going to end the game. Okay. Yay! I would love to hear the community to comment the sound of the goat in their language. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... this goat is the goat gunner. <laughs> Yay! Me. Okay. Well, I'm done here. And well... I'm just gonna go. <laughs> you go. Go yeah, home. Yeah. <laughs> just, just go. Well, you see, like one of your goats is at the top of a mountain. Isn't that great? Yeah. All right, and now we just uh, cut up all our points. Um, so let's just do that. So, um, how many points do you have? One hundred and thirty-four. Mine amount to one hundred and thirty-eight. <gasps> Oh no, that's so close! It's really close, oh, yes. No. <laughs> it's oh, really close, man. yeah. Oh, it's four don't, points. Don't be sad, little goatee. You did a great <laughs> job. <laughs> yeah, four points. It was really close, but yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that's how mountain goats work. There actually is um, also an expansion, um, which is pretty cool. Um, this was a no-brainer to get for me. Just want to show you that. Because um, usually this is like a four player game, but you see we have like five colors of goats. The green ones are part of the expansion, so you can play with five players, which is pretty cool. And secondly, you also get like more of these like new point tokens. Oh, you get like new point tokens here um, for specific player counts. And also you get like another down here, you see it, like there's another like map. So you can like, I think when. Um, when specific mountains are empty or you can't just use specific dice, you can use them on this extra card to get more points. So there's a little bit more variety there, but I haven't played with that expansion yet. So maybe, maybe we will play through that expansion at some point on the channel as well for you. Um, so you can show you how that works. Yeah. But that was our playthrough of Mountain Goats. Um, so um, just a few, two, three sentences. How do you enjoy the game? 
I really enjoyed it. I think it's very cute. I think you could easily play this with your family, with kids. I think it's really great for kids. Um, but, you know, you can also play it with, with friends and, you know, maybe make a drinking game <laughs> out of it, something like that. Um, it's definitely fun, yeah. Yeah, sure. You can play this game while drinking a cup of tea. That is, um, <laughs> that is surely possible. <laughs> That's what you meant, right? <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> I enjoy the game as well. So first of all, I think it's really cute. It has a, has a great theme. The theme is not necessary, but it, it kind of makes sense going up that mountain. So um, um, you might actually see comparisons or similarities to the game Can't Stop, right? Um, you also have like that mountain theme. Like there are like two different themes, like the street kind of theme and then also the uh, the mountain theme. And you obviously score up the mountains, but this one is actually more accessible. I like this quite a lot because it's very easy. You can teach this to anyone. I'm pretty sure I could play this with the grand, with my wife's grandmother, for example, um, or with children, because you just need to know you roll the dice, you group them, and then you just walk up. That's pretty much all you need to know, right? So it's really simple, accessible, but I think it's not too simple. It's actually fun. It's pretty yeah. fun. Of course, it's complete. It's like very luck driven, but I do believe that there is some some layer of strategy in here because you do have to think about. Like, do you do you want to spread out more? Do you want to kick somebody down? Because that was actually, I think, a good move from my part to like kick it down that one mountain, and that pretty much was what actually. That was a downfall for everything that, for me. <laughs> it looked really bad for me, but that was actually like that yeah. move that kind of opened up the game for me again. So there is a, a very subtle layer of strategy there or tactic there, and I think that's enough for a game like this. So yeah. I like it a lot. I think this will stay in my collection for quite a while, maybe forever. That is pretty good. Yeah. All right. Then, well, that is then the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, as usual, I would like to thank all of you for your support and especially my patrons who are generously supporting me on Patreon. That is very, very generous. The biggest shout out goes out to Thagano, who's currently my biggest supporter. Thank you so much for that. If you would also like to support me, why don't you head over to my Patreon? You can take a look at all the tiers I have come up with there and check them out and see if any are to your liking. Otherwise, I'm always happy, of course, uh, um, for a subscription, a like, a comment. You can also join my Discord community. We are having a lot of fun over there, so um, I would love to welcome you over there. All right, then thank you so much for watching. Avis, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for all those goats who are listening or watching. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and well thank you all for watching i will see you in the very next video take care everyone stay safe and cheers bye